So today what we're going to be doing is a walk around on the new EC500F. Uh, it's one of our new models that's coming out. I'm going to show you some features that uh, will help clarify why this machine is different than what the competition does. One place that I'll point out uh, right away is at the end of this boom, we have uh, some wire plates here. And if you've ever been around an excavator that has a lot of hours on it, the bucket will start uh, moving on that machine. And to rebuild, that's really expensive on everyone's machine except ours. You take the bucket off, you replace the wire plates, and it keeps you from line boring and having to redo the machine. Uh, the next thing that I'll talk to you about is this stiffener that's on this bar right here. Uh, if you look at that, what we do is a lot of times on this size machine is the size machine that you'll be lifting a trench box with. When those trench boxes slide left and right on the machine and it hits that bar, it will make, if they bend, then your end of your arm will stop, stop working in parallel. It'll be, and which will cause a lot of wear on your pins and bushings. Uh, by stiffening that, we don't do that. Uh, the proper bucket for the EC500 right now is a five yard bucket. And one thing that we offer that no one else offers out there is a full lifetime warranty on the arm and the boom and the frame. So if any of those give you a problem, uh, we are uh, responsible for that. And we know that uh, our machine is built heavy duty enough to uh, withstand and not have problems in those areas is why we offer that lifetime warranty on those. If you look at the beefiness of my frame, we like to build it bigger, stronger, heavier down here. Instead of just adding counterweight to the back, it's best to have that weight to where it's holding this machine to the ground uh, by just trying to offset the amount of material you have in the bucket versus what you have on the back of the machine. It's better to have that weight on the ground, not really hanging on the back of the machine. Talking about serviceability a little bit, uh, to grease this machine is the uh, easiest one in the industry here. We, can, uh, we have all three grease fittings popped up here to where we just grease, 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 and it puts it all the way around the turn circle. Uh, you'll see on other machines that you will not be able to do that. You will have to grease it, turn it, grease it, turn it. So that seems to be a much better uh, way to lay the machine out so that they can do that. Our lift cylinders, uh, we have something special at Volvo that no one else has. Uh, any of the cylinders on the loaders, trucks, or uh, excavators can be re rebuilt in the field. Everyone else has to take those cylinders to a cylinder shop and have them rebuilt. We can take those off get them on the tailgate of a truck. There's a way to disassemble that, repack the cylinder and put it back on the machine instead of having to use an outside source to be able to do that. If you come on around this way with me, <laughs> you'll see some things that we do right here differently. These stiffeners that we put around the idler arm and also this U-plate, make sure that that idler section never spreads out and has an issue in that area and that's standard equipment on our machine as well. One thing that we've added now, if you climb up here and you're fueling the machine, we've actually put a float in this system because as you're here filling, you cannot tell what level the fuel is. When the fuel level comes up, it actually floats this up so that you know that it's full so that you're not splashing diesel fuel back out on yourself. So uh, we are the only manufacturer that has that. I'll bring your attention to, uh, we have a camera here uh, we have them located all the way around the machine so that your rear view camera is a bird's eye view so you can see 360 degrees around the machine while you're sitting in the cab. The next section of the machine we're going to talk about right here, you have a service center here to do all the servicing on the machine. Here's where your engine oil filters are, your fuel filters, your case drain filter, and the advantage in all this stuff being in one location is a couple of things. It's not sitting right on the side of the engine, so while the technician's changing the oil, the heat is not uh, right in his face. The next thing is this component right here. It is the quick oil change. You hook into that, it pulls the oil out of the machine. Not only does it pull it out of the engine, but it pulls the oil out of the filters. You put on the new filters. As you put the oil back in through the same system, the oil is filtered before it goes to the engine. So, and we now offer 1,000-hour oil changes on 
this style engine above it you can see my regeneration system so how it cleans is really great on this machine there's no parking the machine there's no shutting the machine off we just keep running the machine it will automatically come on burn its own filter out and shut off as needed so there's no loss of production in this machine it r runs constantly does the automatic regen and it's uh, a really tried and true and good system for us right now this machine also comes if you're wondering what this lever is for uh, it is for the hydraulically removable counterweight so if you're having to move this machine and you're worried about trucking it and you've got too much weight on it why well, it's easy to take a few bolts out of the back pull the lever pull it up it will hydraulically set its own counterweight off on the ground and then when you get to the next job site you can easily back up against it pull it back up onto the machine again and bolt it in the next thing as we come on around that i'll point out you can see that i have sensors here i have one matching it up on the front of the machine at the corner and this is for what we are calling the new POC system, which is uh, People and Obstacle Clarification System. It's pretty unique for us, and what it does is if somebody comes in behind the machine, this system is not only just a radar, but it clarifies whether it's an object or does it have the shape of a person. You're getting a stronger alarm if a person become, comes into the view of that so that you can be more aware of your surroundings. So it segregates people from objects as it's viewing behind you and keeping you safer. Underneath the machine, we have lots of uh, added protection. If you'll look, we protect all the bolts with these cuffs. As the machine works back and forth, maybe through sand or other areas, uh, it will make the head of the bolt round to where you cannot remove those plates. So uh, we do that on Volvo machines. And if you notice, we do them on these. We also do them on every bolt where the back of the machine might be running through dirt and causing problems with those bolts during the life of the machine. The next thing we can take a look at is inside this door. And so as I swing this open, what you'll be able to see is all the cooling packages are sitting here and they're single layer meaning that on the back side of that is where the fan is. So as the fan turns and cools the cooling package, there's nothing between the fan and the coolers. So the fan is pushing air across every cooler equally, which is what you will see in our, our brochures or what we talk about high capacity cooling on these machines to keep your, hydraulic, uh, your hydraulics cooler and make the machine run longer. And inside here, what we have, is all the electronics. I'll bring your attention to how well we seal all the connections. They are uh, encased in silicone and pulled in by these levers so that no water can get into the electronics. We also have our master cutoff and this is an ISO jumper plug so that you can plug in and jump start the machine. You can do it with the ISO connector instead of going straight to the battery and plugging into the battery and that creates a system there to where you cannot mix it up. It always, the positive will only plug into the positive, the negative will only plug into the negative. So it uh, creates a situation where you don't have to worry that somebody's hooking a hot to a ground and causing electrical issues for you. This is your fuse box, completely sealed away from the elements, no water, no debris, anything can get into the fuse box. Now we'll go up into the cab and I'll show you some of the features that we put in to be able to make you operate a little better on the new F model series excavator. So now we'll go over what we call personal settings button and if you look what is included in that, it's boom down speed, hydraulic priority, creep speed. So let's go over some of these and talk about them. Uh, boom down speed, sometimes when you're going down you feel like the boom is dropping too quickly. So if we select that, you have many settings here. If I go down, I can slow it down to uh, slow three, coming up, slow two, one, neutral. And if you want it faster, then fast one, two, three, but that actually gives you quite a few settings there that you can adjust what, what speed that boom's dropping on you. If we go to the next one, which is a really good one in my opinion, hydraulic priority 
uh, if you've ever run an excavator, you're, especially when you're truck loading, you're looking at two different things. You're looking at boom up and swing. You're trying to time it to where as the boom's coming up, you're also going over the truck. So if you grab the machine, since it's now electronically controlled, and you start moving that boom and you get to the truck and you're not high enough, you can slide this over to where you're now moving the priority to give you more up. So the next time you load, you're gonna rise faster and swing slower. You keep moving that until it is set perfectly for you. The next one that we'll take a look at is creep speed. And that's something that we've just come out with. What that does is if you've ever tried to travel with a big machine and it is lifting or lowering something that's on the boom, say you have a big concrete structure that's on that. As you are moving, as you lift that up and down, it will change the speed of your tracks because it's still in hydraulic priority away from the other one. If you turn this on to creep speed, what will happen is no matter how much you move that object up and down, it will not change your travel speed, which makes you be able to travel smoothly and put that concrete box exactly where you'd like to lower it into place. As we go on down, the next one that we'll talk about is automatic power boost. When I select that one, I can turn it on or I can turn it off. But what we do is we run system pressure of about 4,800 PSI to the working hydraulics. If you're digging in tough material, as you start going into that material, we had a button that you would press this button and you would run system pressure to 5,200 PSI, making the machine go through that hard material easier. Now on the F model, we've made that function automatic. So when you go down and the machine feels the resistance of the ground, it automatically comes on for nine seconds while you get that bucket full of hard to dig material. And a lot of people ask, why would it be nine seconds? Because that is about the time of a cycle. By the time the bucket hits the ground, we're saying one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and we're out of there and going to the truck with the material. But the advantage in this automatic system is, say I've got an immature operator and it's taken him more than nine seconds. Now the system will not cut off. As long as it feels that resistance, it will continue to keep that boost pressure all the way through that complete cycle, unlike the old system. If we go down and look at uh, one more, before we had a lever to change the pattern some operators operate in ISO. Some operators operate in what is a SAE mode. So what we're doing now is electronically, we can turn this on. And if I select it, I can change ISO, SAE. So when I click into that, I can pick either one. And so if you have an operator that's learned to drive an excavator with older controls in it, you can easily set it electronically. If you want what the standard is, the ISO, you can pick that one and then the machine will automatically go straight to that. And the great thing about all this is now I've got this machine set up to operate the way I want it to. So as we go on down, if I had picked each one of those at that point, it would say, do you want to save those? And I would say yes. And once I say yes, then it says put in your name. So if I put in my name, I'm Doug Phillips, product manager for Volvo. What's gonna happen is the next time I get in this machine, I already have all those settings. I just pick my name. So if I have four or five operators, it's easy for me to take and set, a, set this machine up to run the way each one of those guys want it. And as soon as they come in for their shift, they pick their name and it's ready to roll. One other thing that we've got on the F model machine, and it is an option, but it is a great option, especially for guys that are doing pipe work and you're moving long distances in one straight direction. Uh, it's called comfort drive control. So it's activated by this switch right here. I turn it on. Once I turn it on, I am no longer driving with my hands here or my feet at the bottom of these. All of 
my movements are now controlled by these rollers on my joystick. So as I do the right one, this way is forward, this way is back. This one now is making the machine turn to the right and turn to the left. So instead of pressing on these levers over long distances, it's much easier, henceforth the name, Comfort Drive Control, that you can comf comfortably roll that roller over and walk for long distances uh, when that happens on your job site. So I think that concludes our walk around of the machine. I hope you saw some things that are new and innovative and uh, you'll uh, try out our machine and see what you think about it. We appreciate your time and uh, see you next time.